The purpose of this video is to show you how to make TTT and CCT calculations for general steels in GMAT Pro. Just to remind you, TTT stands for Time Temperature Transformation and CCT for Continuous Cooling Transformation. This describes the transformation of austenite to the product phases ferrite, perlite, bainite, and martensite. In GMAT Pro, first select general steels from the material types. Then input your steel composition in the left part of the window or load the composition from the menu. I will here choose 3310. In the table of properties that can be calculated, I would like to concentrate on three buttons, which are Quick TTT and CC diagrams, Advanced TTT and Advanced CCT. I will start with Quick TTT and CCT calculations. Common input for all three calculations is the austenite grain size and the austenization temperature. The austenite grain size can be input either in ISTM or in micron. I will keep here a standard size of 9 ISTM. For the austenization temperature, one can either choose to let GMAT Pro find the A3 temperature and increment it by a chosen value, or one can directly input the austenization temperature. One can then choose to calculate a diagram with the standard start and finish curves at respectively 0.1% and 99.9% .9 transformation or calculate a diagram with a fixed transformation percentage. I will choose to calculate the standard diagram. Press start to launch the calculation. First, thermal quantities and phase compositions will be calculated and then use a kinetic model to calculate the transformations. Let's briefly describe the generated diagrams. On the right side of each diagram, you will find listed a transformation temperature for each product phase, ferrite, bainite, perlite, and martensite. For martensite, three temperatures are given for the start of transition, as well as 50% and 90%. These three martensite transformation temperatures are represented by horizontal lines in both the TTT and the CC diagram. Both TTT and CIS diagrams will show the 0.1% start curve and 99.9% .9 end curve for each phase. In the case of the CC diagram, four cooling curves are added to the diagram for 0.1, 1, 10 and 100 degrees per second in order to facilitate interpretation of the diagram. As for any graph in GMAT Pro, you can click on a point to generate its coordinates. Let's now move to the so-called advanced calculation of CT diagrams. Advanced CCT here. The input again requires the austenite grain size and the austenization temperature. For cooling, one can either choose between a constant cooling rate or a Newtonian type cooling. The calculation is more complex and takes a little bit longer, so I will simply load the result of a calculation I've made before. Load material type, 3310, and load the advanced CCT calculation. You will see that overall the diagram generated is similar to the one shown before. However, in this calculation, we have used a more complex model, allowing to correlate transformations of each phase, and from this, we are able to calculate the final strength and hardness at room temperature for each cooling. You will see that now the graph includes at the bottom values of the final hardness for the major cooling weights of 110, 1, 0.1 and 0.01 degrees per second. But you can also click at the end of any cooling weight curve to get the final hardness, 0.2 percent proof stress and tensile stress, as well as the final amount of phases formed. In the toolbar, you can toggle the hardness unit between VPN and Rockwell C and the strength unit between Megapascal and KSI. Should you wish to do so, it is also possible to represent cooling rate along the X axis instead of time. Let's finally move to the advanced TTT calculation.
Input is again very similar. We need the oscillant grain size and the oscillation temperature. There is, however, a choice given on the type of graph you wish to generate, focusing either on the individual phases amount or the total transformation amount. I will load here calculations I've made before. If you choose the phases transformed amount, the graph will show curves 1, 10, 50 and 90% amount of each individual phase formed as well as a solid line to represent the completion of the transformation. If you choose to represent the total transformed amount, the graph will show curves for the start transformation of each individual phase and curves for 10, 50 and 90% of the transformation, as well as the completion of transformation with the solid line here. That's it. As you can see, TTT CT calculations in GEMMA Pro are very easy and provide lots of information. Thank you.